and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a haul and this is a collective haul. I'm sorry I'm laughing because my son <laughs> is being ridiculous. I just wanted to say before we get started, obviously Frederick is wide awake so you might hear or see him during the video so I do have to apologize in advance but I can't help that he's awake because he's already napped today and I didn't think I was going to do a video like this. I haven't done a haul like this for many 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 months and I thought it would be interesting to show you guys what I have recently got in the last couple oh. of weeks. So here you go. I guess I'm going to get straight into this haul. So I hope you all enjoy. First things first, I went to Kmart and I got some of their facial sheet masks. Now I've actually never used sheet masks before. Normally I just use, you know, the the one that you put on your face, not the sheet. I thought, hey, why not? I'm going to give these a go and see how they turn out. That I have got are just a coconut one, a blueberry one, and a bamboo one. I will definitely let you guys know how I feel about these once I try them out. I'm hoping to try one out tonight. But I will definitely let you guys know right here or in the description on how I enjoyed these or did enjoy them. Next beauty product that I've got here is just a facial moisturizer. Now this winter has been disgusting for me guys and I am dry. Dry as a bone or the desert you could more say. And I am dry on my forehead and mainly my chin. So basically my T-zone era, era, area I am dry. So I needed to pick up a moisturizer for my skin and I absolutely love Sukin products so I definitely went straight for the moisturizer that they had in their collection and I'm liking it. I am really liking this moisturizer. So I've picked up some makeup items that I recently have needed to get. The first one is just my foundation that I use on a regular basis these days and this is the CoverGirl Outlast Day Luminous Foundation. I am on the color 810 which is the lighter shade you can get because this pale mama is literally as pale as white sand. This is really the only foundation that I can get away with because of the light shades that it has in its range. Most foundations I actually can't wear because I am actually so pale. I'm very pink toned so it sucks. But it's okay because I've got this baby and I'm so glad I have one. I also have a mascara here. This is just my normal mascara. This is the Maybelline Love Sensational Mascara. It's my favorite one. I don't use any other. Basically, this is the only one I use. Last but not least, I've got my powder here. And this is the Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder. I am in the color Light Beige. I'm so glad they decided to go light colors because... I couldn't use their powders before, but now I can, and it's the only powder I use because it is so goddamn nice. Everything beauty-wise, and now I'm going to go on to the accessories. So the first accessories that I've got are actually scrunchies. Who knew I would ever buy scrunchies and show you guys in a haul? But I do. I actually have three, but uh, one's gone missing. Actually, I know where it's gone missing because I went to a hen's party a couple of weeks ago and I actually wore a scrunchie there and uh, it disappeared. Two scrunchies here, one's just black and white and one's just black. Very explanatory. Um, I don't think I need to tell you guys anything else about the scrunchies. Next, I got a new pair of sunglasses, guys. If you know me and if you've been watching our vlogs, you've been seeing how my glasses were looking like before. I recently bought some really nice sunglasses from Cotton On. They were only like $14, but still, they were very nice. They were like my my favorite sunglasses I have ever bought. Um, and I only buy cheap ones, guys, because they break, Frederick grabs them, they scratch. There's no point buying expensive glasses in my case. So today, I decided to go get some new ones because my last ones, the little edge thing fell off. So we went and bought some new ones. And guys, they are awesome. I really like these sunglasses. I got these guys from Factory. They were only $14 and I love them. I'm going to get onto the clothes and I'm going to show you some pants first off that are absolutely drenched because I literally just got these out of the washing machine forgetting I actually put them in there. 
So these are soaking wet, waiting to go into my dryer. But recently I went and got some pants from Kmart because this mama honestly doesn't spend that big these days. Um, so I went to Kmart to go get some jeans that I'm currently wearing, which I also will show you. Um, but I found these and I love them so, so, so much. The thing about them, they actually have pockets at the front. Guys, you know most girls' jeans don't have pockets in the front. What? I actually have two pockets. Kind of greedy, but I like it. They're just normal grey pants. Typical. And I'll put them back in the dryer. I also bought the pants that I'm wearing at the moment. These are just classic black jeans. Can't really show you much of them. But they're just classic black jeans. And oh, they're nice. That's all I can say. They're nice. The tops, guys. I've got this one here. This is from Ali Fashion. I really like this top. Probably because of the embroidered roses. But I actually really, really, really like this. Most of the tops I wear these days, I actually knot them at the front. Because I like that. Um, so that is why this one is all crinkled at the bottom. Because it was recently knotted. Um, but yeah. That the other top that I have here is also from Ali. It is obviously embroidered too. This one does have holes all in in it it is on purpose guys i didn't just buy a really old top and put holes in it it's actually on purpose but as you can see it's knotted at the bottom because well i said that before because i like it I've got another top here and i actually haven't worn this yet because it's still got its price tag on it but this is from Cotton On. I'm a huge lover for cami tops. They're just so easy to throw on with a bralette and a jumper or whatever. Um, so I saw this one and I actually really liked it for some reason. I am not normally a pink kind of girl. I haven't had a lot of pink in my wardrobe for some years. But apparently pink is coming in and I actually really enjoy it. So I went ahead and bought this pink cami which has little flowers all over it. I actually didn't really know what it was, but they're actually flowers. I really like it and yeah, obviously I'm going to wear it sometime. I also got the top that I'm wearing at the moment from Cotton On. It is obviously pink too because like I said, I actually really like the pink stuff that are coming in at the moment. It obviously has the detailing at the front, but yeah, I really like it. The last piece of clothing I'm going to show you guys before I get into my intimates is just this denim jacket. Now, this is actually my first ever denim jacket. I've gone 24 hard years without owning a denim jacket. I don't know what I was doing, guys, because I love this. I love this. I literally wear this all the time. But basically, this denim jacket is from Cotton On. It is just a cropped one, which I really, really, really like. It also has some, you know, shredded detailing on the sleeve and on the front. And yeah, I just really, really, really like this jacket. I'm so glad I bought this. Last but not least, guys, I have a couple bralettes to show you. I recently fell in love with bralettes. <laughs> And I've just gone crazy with buying as many as I possibly can. Because this mama now has small titties because she breastfed um, for some time. Not much, but some time. But it still did damage to my boobs. And they are now flat and tiny as. So I can get away with wearing bralettes now without my boobs popping out of them. First one that I've got is from Cotton On Body. And I absolutely love this. This is probably my favorite one that I've got in my wardrobe. But it's just this pale pink bralette. It's very simple. Obviously has the buckle at the back. But it is just a very simple bralette. I also really like this one because it actually has a little bit of padding on the inside. So you can't really see my nipples all the way through. But I really, really, really like it. Another one I've got here is also from Cotton On. And this is just my white bralette. Now this is actually a two-layered bralette. So the first layer, I'm just going to try and drop it. The first layer is this like sheer white and then it has the lace over ooh, let's and then it just has the lace over the top which I really 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 like so you get like the sheer material and then you get the lace a little bit inner so you've got that little like boobage that's coming out I guess you could say um, but I really, really, really like this. It's really pretty. It's really feminine. It can go with anything. 
Um, I just really, really, really love this. But not least, I went ahead and got the black bralette, which is just a simple black one. It's got a little bit of extra lace on the side, which I really like. And the lace actually comes quite a fair bit up. But I really like this. It supports me really well, even though it doesn't have any padding in it whatsoever. That is everything that I have got recently. I was going to show you guys my pram, but I decided no. I'm not going to show you guys my pram, because really, you don't need to see it. That's kind of a mummy haul, where this is kind of like a, a me haul. This is like a non-mum haul at the moment. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed this haul. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel if you're not already. I hope you guys like this haul and if you did, maybe I can do these a little bit more often. We'll just see what you guys say. But we're going to head off, so I hope you all enjoyed. Bye -bye. <laughs> and like Freddie bye -bye. said, bye-bye. See you guys. Bye -bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs> see ya.